My name is Daniel Eugene Kaminsky. Really, it was photography that brought me into drag performance. I had gone to some drag shows, but when I showed up with the camera, there was such a profound sense of happening. I started performing in 2018 myself. It was sort of a natural thing that was latent, that was awakened. Um, I grew up racing cars. I started racing when I was eight years old. Um, I raced until I was 16. Clearly those are formative years. Um, I came out when I was 14, so I was still racing. So being, identifying as gay in that space at such a young age became something that was became normal to me. And then fast forwarding, to 2016, which is really when I started photographing with intent, um, both at drag and at the races. I had already been there, but now I have a camera and like seeing things through a lens completely changed the way I was experiencing with it and the way I was valuing where I was. I identify as an artist. Um, I am a drag queen. I am a race car driver, I am a race fan. The identity is very complicated and I've never felt comfortable identifying as one thing at the exclusion of others. I've always st struggled and worked to hold all of these things in one space. So I am, I am all of these things, but the identity aspect of it is much more complicated and it's really important for me to be fluid. You see very clearly the misunderstanding that, it, that it takes place between the two communities and how much of it is, is steered and created by media representation and the lack of direct experiential encounter with one and the other. There's individually, as myself, I experience like there's always something that keeps me separate. I mean, it's much safer to be a race fan <laughs> in a queer space than it is to be a queer person in a race space. But like the, the, the ignorance goes both ways. So Ch Checkered Pride is the photographic project um, that is, seeks to solve the problem of bringing these two communities in a more integrated space and using photography as a medium to achieve that. One of the things about both spaces that became very clear to me is that on like an energetic level or like on a vibe level, stripped of their surfaces, they are they have a, a remarkable sympathy. There's 600 horsepower engines and like 600 horsepower drag queens. There is a vibe and a pulse that I feel that connects them on a level that like to me, that was the, one of the real awesome things that when I really started paying attention and, and sort of pursuing both of these cultures, places, subjects with the camera is just, you just really started to see, see visually that there is also a, a similarity. So the project sort of grew in my mind of I can take, I'm taking pictures in both places and then combing through these two documents, sort of creating diptychs conjoining them with where I found the visual impact had actual similarity. I had a lot of inner turmoil between these two worlds. Like I am a gay race car driver, I'm a drag queen race car driver. And then you like look at these two, two communities outwardly and they are essentially attacking one another. Then the project really became about integrating these two subjects, getting them to exist essentially on the same page figuratively and literally and sort of like spread the gospel of my belief that you know gays and rednecks can get along if i was to have a sort of specific hope for what people might take away from the work that i'm doing to like look at your own life and see where you have opportunity to deviate from group thinking there's a river going like be a rock in it for a minute let it break on you. Be an individual, be an iconoclast. Um, that's the word 
that I would most encourage people to understand and to exemplify iconoclasm. It is the way to facilitate revolution as an individual.